Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be talking about some dating standards and how expensive it is to get a girlfriend these days. Have you seen these videos where they interview girls and ask them how much a man should spend on the first date? I want you to think of a number. Maybe like $80 if you guys are going to dinner or like $20 if you're getting coffee. How much do you expect the guy to spend on the first date? At least $500. At least? That's half of most people's rent. $500. Okay. $2,000. <laughs> I mean, she kind of creepy. Look at those eyes. 2000 Or she'll suck your soul right out of your body and sell it on Depop. I saw this woman on TikTok who literally refused to get out of the car to go on her date because he took her to the Cheesecake Factory. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this car. Mm -mm. This is the Cheesecake Factory. Why are you not hungry? What's wrong with the Cheesecake Factory? Even Drake goes to the Cheesecake Factory. Do you think you're better than Drake? Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? You know, a man opening a door for you on the first date is the bare minimum. I haven't been on very many dates, but I went on one and he like, he opened the door for me and I was just like, whoa. And I literally told everyone I know, I was like, wow, he's so polite, he is so kind. I was glazing this dude for the sole fact that he opened the door for me. I have never experienced a man opening a door for me. Maybe because I always drive, it was nice. <laughs> and then I later found out that that is the bare minimum. You're recording me? Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. No, Red Lobster wasn't good enough. Olive Garden wasn't good enough. I feel like Cheesecake Factory ranks on top of those. The Cheesecake Factory got something for everybody. Even us gluten-free folk. What are you complaining about? What's wrong with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? <laughs> Girl, you wearing purple lipstick and a green dress. You lucky he didn't take you to Burger King with those clown colors on. Apparently, Barney the Dinosaur too good for cheesecake. I'm fine with talking about it, <laughs> even in front of them. Oh okay. yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah. It isn't even the fact that she refused to go in. It's the fact that she's recording herself, thinking she's in the right. Like, yeah, I'm gonna humiliate myself and the guy that took time out of his day to take me out and try to get to know me. You know what, this is all the knowing you needed to know. It's like she thinks wearing green is gonna save her from the fact that she is a walking red flag. So, so yes, let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date, is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. When you take out a beautiful woman and you're courting her, you're supposed to take care of her. You're and supposed to cover her, you're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. Y'all barely know each other's names and you want him to go all out? I'm sorry, if you meet a guy off Hinge, off Bumble, I feel like he's not gonna be like insanely in love with you on the first date. Like the whole point of a first date is to like get to know a person, see if you actually like them. Like why would you make the investment to spend several hundred dollars what if it doesn't work out? What if you guys end up not liking each other? You gotta pay to get my hair done, my nails done, my feet done. So let me ask you this. If he pays for all that, right, and a date doesn't go good, are you gonna refund him? Yeah, no. <laughs> a bang. As much as he wants. At least a hundred. Like maybe like a hundred twenty. Hundred fifty dollars. Okay, hundred fifty dollars for dinner. That's not bad at all. Don't spend no money on the First date, at least fifty. What would you give with fifty? Steak. Steak costs almost five hundred depending on where you at. <laughs> This has got to be Miami. You know, you look on the menu, it say the filet mignon, $50. What about the rest of the meal? Somehow with a side of mashed potato and some broccolini, plus tax and tip is $250. $500. If we going to a nice dinner, at least $700. But if we're going to a regular dinner, $4 meat. She said seven bands. Seven bands? Seven bands. I said five bands. For what? $5,000? Who gonna pay that kind of money? Drake? That's more than most people make in a month. And she's like, nah, I want y'all to spend that one night. What are you eating for $5,000? Let's say I wanted to take you out. What's your expectation? I don't really have any. So she has no expectations of the first date. So we can go to like McDonald's. You can order off the dollar menu. So I can hit you up and say, hey, let's go to Burger King and Get slushy. No, no, no. I mean, you said you had no expectations. Also, I feel like it depends on how much you like somebody. If you really like somebody, it doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter how much you spend. Whatever happened to going to McDonald's at 10 p.m., getting some fries and McFlurry if the ice cream machine isn't broken. At least, like, you know, nice five-star type of restaurant, and then... Okay, so that's her expectation. A nice five-star restaurant. Oh, five-star restaurant in Miami. How much is that gonna range? Um, anywhere from... 
300 to 800. So that's our expectation. 300 to 800 dollars. You know, personally, I can't imagine expecting a guy on a first date, you know, unless he's rich, unless he's a millionaire. I think it might be okay to expect a 300 to 800 dollar dinner. But like, most of these girls aren't dating millionaires. They're dating regular people. You can't expect a regular person whose car payment costs 300 to 800 dollars to spend that on a dinner. I feel like some people, they don't even want a relationship. They want an ATM. It's all about money. Realistically, you expect a man to spend $800 on a first day? Yeah. Has it happened before? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you find somebody that can spend that much money, props to you. Congratulations. But that's not realistic. Also, I'm trying to figure out how two people on a date spend that much money. Unless you're going to like a Michelin star restaurant where you're paying $35 a drink and two fifty nine per person for a three course meal. The expectations for myself to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. to pay for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just treat you like a gentleman which I believe I have. This is so sad because he seems like such a nice guy. He picked her up, he's respecting her, took her to go get food. Does anyone else not think it's gross that she's just recording this guy doing this? I feel like it's just so disrespectful. I, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Literally refusing to get out of the car because we're going to Cheesecake Factory. And now you throw in a little temper tantrum. You know what, my date started acting like this, I'll put you in the back seat because you acting like a child. Uh, when we were walking to the car, you wouldn't put your hand around my arm or anything like that, or hold my hand or anything like that. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay, I yeah, don't know and you I yet. can respect that. Okay. When I got to your apartment to pick you up, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. If we're late, I mean, I told I mean, we you twice. Late. It wasn't that late. I mean, we literally couple. left your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be. I wonder whose fault that is. And I specifically well, said four because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said, understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. Girl, if Drake can go in the Cheesecake Factory, I can go in the Cheesecake Factory. You most definitely can go in the Cheesecake Factory. Wait, why is she acting like she's too good for the Cheesecake Factory? I feel like this isn't even about getting to know each other anymore. It's like when you want to get to know each other, you can do it over coffee. I have to like get to know somebody before I allow them to watch me eat. I don't like eating in front of people I don't know. Especially if it's like a one-on-one. -on -one. I think coffee date is the perfect date. But wait, 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 wait. Look, I went on Twitter. Someone posted a list of restaurants women refuse to go on on the first date. The first one, Cheesecake Factory. Why is cheesecake up there? Okay, Applebee's, Chili's, understandable. Chipotle, I like Chipotle, but like I wouldn't want to go there on a first date. Olive Garden, the movies. I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard to get to know each other at the movies. Your house, absolutely not. Red flag, no fast food chain, no wings. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to eat wings on a first date. I love wings, but like what if I'm a two and he's a five, then what? No Red Lobster, no buffet. Why no Red Lobster? Y'all don't like cheddar biscuits? No buffet. No IHOP, no Denny's. Church? That's for prayer. Starbucks? No coffee dates? That's literally like top tier date. The best date I ever had, I have not been on very many dates, was a coffee date. Ice cream date? That's also a good one. Family functions? No. Somewhere that requires a long drive? No. Bowling, nightclub, hookah. These are pretty reasonable. I just can't get behind the coffee dates. It's like, it's cheap. It's good. Also, it's like, if you think it's awkward to like sit in the coffee place and get to know each other and talk, you can also like take your coffee to go and like walk around like that's so nice to get to know somebody like a date or a friend i mean yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something uh, ladies can you believe this i'm sorry y'all if i don't feel respected i am I mean, not gonna go through I mean, with the rest of the day on. i mean you are serious you really mean what you mean I'm not gonna get my free dinner? I feel like she's the type of person to have a roster and a bunch of contacts on her phone. Free meal one, free meal two, free meal three. She just hit up these guys for a free meal. That is 100% a thing. I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. Oh, now she wanna be cooperative. You made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you wanna go home? Uh. I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them and you've broken everyone. Oh so. my God. 
You know, I would have made her sit in the back too. She literally looks like she's gonna start crying. It's like a kid throwing a tantrum on the way back from school. Well, I guess we're not getting ice cream now, are we, Billy? All right, whatever. Well, I guess I, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. I feel like she's like three seconds away from turning off the camera. Like, please, sorry, can we please just go back to the Cheesecake Factory? I'm starving. I, I understand where you're coming from. It's not working. We're still going home. <laughs> A waste of time and money. The most a man should spend on a first date. I feel like if I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna use all my products to come out with you, I need like a minimum of two hundred dollars. A minimum, and that's like being nice. It's fine to have standards, but I feel like if you have a price, you might as well just like say it straight up. Put it in your dating profile. Figure out where you're gonna go beforehand. And what does a man get in return for that? My presence. What does a guy get in return? For $200? That ain't gonna get you very much. Now some people be selling feet pics for more than that. Some people will argue, a man will spend money on you and invest in you because they see you as a potential life partner. Like, yeah, I like her. I want her to be my wife one day. And like a girl will be like, I like this guy. I'm gonna teach him about skincare, make him put on sunscreen every day so he doesn't shrivel up like a raisin. You like invest in the person that you wanna be with. But he has to drop $200. Yeah, because minimum. That, yeah, because just, you just because you just because you have to do your makeup. Okay, first of all, makeup is expensive. She is like all done up. She look expensive. Personally, I would not take somebody who looks like that to order off the dollar menu. So we're gonna do the math. My moisturizer is four hundred dollars. My eye cream is three hundred dollars. My serum is like another three hundred dollars. Is she putting like liquid gold on her face prior to the date? That's ridiculous. My makeup, you know, not included. You know, that's my money. I'm spending my money on these products. I'm gonna use these products. Were you using them? for though for myself okay but i'm gonna use these products and i'm gonna show up because it's not like i'm gonna show up in sweats the man doesn't know you anything if you're just getting to know each other i feel like a first date should be kind of casual maybe you shouldn't be all like done up on a first date i feel like maybe it should be like coffee date casual and if those coffee dates go good then you go dress up go to a restaurant it's like levels you get past the first level then you go to the second level then the third level maybe the third level is dinner but everybody's different that's just my opinion but Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the yes! And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.